got some hooks on him. Look at the beard on him. The double beard. Triple beard. Oh, Are you wow. kidding me? Oh. <laughs> I've been shaking so bad. Well, thank you for blessing us immensely today. That's what we're talking about. Yes, sir. We. <laughs> three birds at about 300 yards coming down off a bank into the field. Caught in a hen this morning, not one gobble so far, so. Yeah. At the bottom of the hill? Yeah, they're in the, they're in the field. This gobble. Where's that gobble at? Went straight out in front, wasn't it? I thought it was to the left of us, but I couldn't tell. Oh, there's a bird right there. There's a gobble right dead in front of us. Should I call or just not? Right between you and the wood pile. <laughs> oh, here's a ham on it. Here somewhere, I don't know where she is. Yeah, there's two. There's a hen right here.
chilling. We got a bird, buddy. <laughs> wait, 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 don't move, don't move, don't move. Too. Okay, bigger one. Uh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Go from not gobbling or seeing anything quiet off the roost. And then Curtis thought that they were gonna roost over on that hill, and he was right. He came down off the bank, he started gobbling like crazy. And once he seen the decoy, that was it. I didn't see the second gobbler though. Until. We shot the first one, so. It's funny how everything can change real quick. From not hearing anything to bam. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, about time. Yeah. Opening day was rough. Opening day was rough for me. I didn't even get out. Yeah, two year old. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mature gobbler, so. You better believe it. Clay just came up. Weren't able to scout last night, but I'd known these birds were in this field. I mean, they had been coming to this field uh, about every day, so. Set up the decoys, we're set right back in here. I'll, let me show you. Set right behind uh, Right behind there, it, it's kind of like a, kind of drops down in there. And what is really crazy is these deer are still in this field. And we got a dead bird. Yeah, that bird. Well, he gobbled nice coming across that field, huh? He didn't start gobbling until he hit that bank over there. And started coming down the, you, you actually saw him before he started gobbling, yeah. so. Yeah. So you were scouting around with your binoculars. <laughs> And he said, here comes a gobbler. And it's like, come on. <laughs> and then I saw him up on the hill, so, yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And then I look at, I look and that other one's running right at us. Right here. Oh yeah, at the end there. Oh yeah. yeah. At the end when he saw the decoys. He was running right at he us. He was running right at us. So, but After I, you shot, the other one was running at us too. Oh, was it? Oh, he's coming right, right at us. I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't was, see him. He was until running started, right like, at. We started doing a fight. He was bird. running right at us, and then all of a sudden, I, I was like, "Don't move, don't move!" And then he saw us, and then scooted. He was like gonna come and pound it. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. Yeah. I guess I was so focused on this bugger here. Oh. Well, we came in here blind this morning. Curtis knew there were birds here, but we. We didn't hear a gobble this morning. We got in here right at uh, right at light and uh, walked down the dirt road trying to, to hear some gobblers, but we didn't hear anything. We got up, set up close to the field here, and, and a hen sounded off right behind us, right back where we parked, which we were fearful of. But um, so yeah, we just stuck it out, and uh, eventually Curtis caught these gobblers over on the hill, coming down the hill with his binoculars and started gobbling once they hit the field they started gobbling pretty good so we worked across the field when he saw the decoys you'll see in the video he, he came towards he came to him real quick so it was a it was a pretty cool hunt let me tell you what sure is nice to walk out with a gobbler over your shoulder Absolutely. <laughs> that's what it's really all about right yep. it's nice to get out but you know what the, the bonus is if you get a gobbler uh, carrying a gobbler out your shoulder. it is nice to be walking out with a bird over your shoulder
Oh, you know. Right down to the last minute. Wow. 11.59. Oh my gosh. You cannot believe that. I mean, that is as close as you're gonna get. Oh my soul. I burned it. There was a stupid fly on my gun. A huge, huge fly. That was like right halfway down. I couldn't even see my sight. I put the fly on the <laughs> on the turkey. Oh my God! I kid you not. This fly was so big. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Got some hooks on him. He's a nice bird. Bring him here once. What's that? Here, let me see the hooks. Man, I'm whispering because we still got a gobbler up here. Yeah. I don't want to spook him. I cannot believe, Clay, that I could not see my sight. I've never had that happen in my life. I look down and there is the biggest fly in the world sitting on the middle of my gun. I am having the hardest time see in the screen just to focus on this thing so yeah. i don't know what's in focus and what oh, i hope focus. it is feel him yeah, he's heavy he's mine yeah i'd say he's 20. yeah nice bird nice bird not bad for a second day of the season we got two down we yep. should have had another one i mean yeah. we could have had another one yeah exactly i'm glad i waited on that then. yeah there's a lot better video yeah. hopefully it better be clay <laughs> in the wide open. <laughs> 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 <laughs>